let's use our mouse to draw on the screen using Turtle. No code, well, there's gonna be code to listen to the mouse, but we're gonna actually use the mouse itself to tell Turtle where to go. This is super cool and can be applied to other projects in the future. Let's learn how to do this. Create a new REPL. We're gonna choose a Python Turtle REPLet and Let's get coding. Okay, so let's plan out what we're gonna be doing. Well, of course, we need to do our imports at the beginning. Uh, we need to, we're gonna be telling the screen to listen for a click on it, so we need to grab the screen object. In Turtle, we're actually drawing on a canvas, and we can actually store that canvas in a variable to tell it to listen. And let's go ahead and create a function to perform an action, which is the actual like telling the turtle to go to a position. So function uh, for turtle to go to click position. Okay, and then we want to actually listen for the on click. So listen for on click. On click is an event. Events happen all the time in programs, but we have to tell the program to actually listen for them. Otherwise, it just throws them out when they happen. So let's import, of course, we're gonna import improt, import turtle as T. That way we just have to type T instead of turtle every single time. Let's go ahead and grab our variable, which is going to be the window. Um, so we're gonna grab window equals T dot screen. Screen is a built-in object inside of Turtle, and it's this right here. It's the actual canvas. And t dot go to zero comma zero. So go to is a built-in function in Turtle, and it tells the Turtle to well go to a position. We're going to tell it to go to zero and zero right off the bat, so that when we hit run, it goes to the very center of the screen. Now let's go ahead and create our function that's going to actually do the moving to where we clicked. Well, let's go ahead and create a function. Let's just call it go here. We can call it anything we want, but the parameters have to be X and Y. They can't be anything else because X and Y are actually what the screen listener will actually output. So those are the things that we can actually grab when we click. And then we can just say, go to that X and Y position. So go to that position that we clicked. Created a function that listens to the X coordinate and Y coordinate of where the mouse was clicked, and then tells the turtle to go to that position. Now we need to tell the screen, tell the program to listen to those clicks. So we're gonna grab that window, that screen object, and we're gonna fire the on click function. This takes a parameter, which is the function that we fire when we click. So you don't even have to draw. Technically, you could create a function that increases a variable, like a clicker game, or uh, draw something else on the screen. Like every single time we click, it draws a heart. I don't, I don't know what your life's about. You can create your own function, but this on click event will fire that function every single time a click happens on the screen. Now, when we're firing this function, we're just using the name. We don't actually use the parentheses because of how this function works. And then we're gonna say main loop, basically constantly listen for that click. Now when we hit run, the turtle goes to the center of the screen, we click on the screen, and we can see that the pen, the turtle, actually draws to the location. Now, because it does take some time, a certain amount of time, for the turtle to get to that position, if we click while it's still moving, it will actually draw multiple lines. So we can speed that up with t.speed, and let's go ahead and put 100 in there. Now when we hit run, it like instantly happens, and so there's no worry of you kinda sorta accidentally clicking while it's moving. This is a lot cleaner. You can't hold down. It happens on click, not on mouse down. But this is cool, we've got a drawing app. You built a drawing app. How On your phone, how many, they sell for dollars. There's money for drawing apps. You just made one in what, five minutes? That's cool.